Trump is a whole lot more than people actually think it is. It's actually not only the governing of this planet, but the actual solar system. But we fell just that far. And the key still is the word. Sis? And you um, explain to them, like you explain to talk to me about being, that's my brother. He calls me his mother. He's older than me. Mm -hmm. He yeah. calls me his mother. So well, can you, you give them, explain when you said they don't know how powerful they are. Can you elaborate on that for them? All right. Now you know, them? the word is God. Language, grammatication, that they call grammar, is actually grammatication. Linguistics, grammatication. They move from that, in other words, like stages, they move you away from origins so that we can't trace back. You know, like the Bible says in the whole Quran, Uwaspi, Torah, etc. it says, well, like when the Nazarene was leaving, they say, well, I mean, you know, man, if you split, you know, how are we going to know God? And he says, well, I'll turn back into the hole from which you were dug. Which means go back to your root. You don't need me. I told you what's, what's up. What's up with you? What's up with y'all? Y'all ain't changed. Y'all just went off follow somebody who got us. That's why you lost. That's basically what he's saying. Go back to your basics. Go back to the root. And it's you. But you don't believe you. Because someone intervened. With a purpose. Now, the principle with sisters is, all right, like now we're both brothers, right? All right, we got you little nipples up here, right? And I'm sorry because I'm going to be nothing. Right? 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 But they're there, right? Huh? All right. Now, we'd be playing ball with something like you and say, yeah, man, that's fine. that has organic life. And it's called the water, goes as a part of the water, save the nation, because that's her ovaries, and she breaks water and she always produces, even when females come, she got both nations right here. Most powerful thing. Greatest energy. When things were reversed or flipped, she suppressed her own self, because she can't be suppressed. Do you understand what I'm saying? In other words, the power, whatever you think, so it be. If you don't know yourself, you can't push that thalamus, that nerve center comes from the dark side of the brain. That comes over the crown of the nose right here. And that nerve that comes out, you know, like in ancient music writing, where you have the crowns and they have that asp, which is really represents that nerve that comes from the thalamus to the crown of the nose right here, right here. And when you activate or when you rise in your consciousness, knowledge, gnosis, knowledge, opens up that pineal gland and the pituitary gland, which are actually spiritual glands, which means this is organic, that you don't need to believe anything. It works by nature, but the mental state can suppress its activity. No different than women can actually give birth or, or germinate her own eggs without her sons. But because she's fallen in her mental state, she can't do that. Not that it doesn't happen. Some of them start it, and then it stops, and it turns into human and fry worlds. You understand what I'm saying? No. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if doctors won't tell women, when they have uterine fibroids, oh, okay. it's actually where they were in a mental state and they started germinating their own seed and attached to the womb right. and starts producing a child. That's why they don't let them see them because if they open them up, they'll see it has hair and bone and tissue. And teeth. And it has teeth too. Breathe. 
got that right. I wonder why that hair teeth on. That's why they don't tell women about themselves because they want they think that you know that we don't we don't play the game that you can't have children because it's actually a spiritual fall. Because spiritual is not what they've been telling you know people jump around and oh, oh get ready for those five hours. That's, that's mind control. Spirituality is knowledge of yourself, your anatomy, your relationship with nature. You don't, ancient times, they didn't go find stuff to bump their head on and worship. You're God. But you weren't called God, you were called Allah, Yahweh. And it's woman, it's not man. It's not a masculine principle. As a matter of fact, man is not a masculine word. It means the species. And there ain't no masculine eggs in nature. It doesn't exist. Everything that is created comes from a female egg. And through the mitosis, when that takes place, the meiosis takes place, the mental state that a woman's in based on the planetary movements, what energy she pulls in, her state of mind, she mutates one of her girls, which is a reflection of herself, and creates a son. And that's the miracle of God, and which is what is known as the virgin birth. This is what she's not a virgin in that sense. But yes, she can give a virgin birth, for real. And they used to have ancient temples, the Pythagorean temples, that was for women that didn't have husbands because they were producing children. But that was the children of the nation. And so the whole nation raised those children. That's why in ancient culture, like say for instance, in ancient culture, and a little bit of that is still left, though we've fallen a long way in a lot of Asiatic Af African countries, whereas the children is everybody's children. Whereas, you know, like if you have a child and that child's out there, that child's automatically mine. I'm responsible for that child until you're here. Or, and, and it's not even a second thought, it's not a political thought, it's life when we fell from that. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? And particularly like in a lot of families, like the uncle would be actually do the work that the daddy did. In you know, the father would be the birth of the uncle would take care of children. And that's what goes on in a lot of places in the world. And before we fell, actually the women chose the men. Men didn't choose. It's true. So, but we well, they do that now. Yeah, well, they, yeah, but you know, we do it now, but nobody says it like that. Yeah. You know, we, the old man don't catch the woman. Women, you know, I say, let you run right. until you catch me. <laughs> you know, we all know that. But that lets us think that we got two muscles and you know all that kind of stuff. Right. Okay. But the real deal is. We have to understand the nature of the particulars are operating from that energy that you generate, but it actually is generated from the pineal, the pituitary gland, pineal gland, activated with the thalamus, and what that does, it, 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 it takes the spirit man, because man is the spirit, not the flesh, past the third dimension, but you don't go to the fourth dimension, you actually go to the fifth, and then come back to the fourth, where things are causal, where that energy passes to the earth. And then it goes to the sixth, and that opens up the third eye. And that's what they would always use, that, that symbol of the Cyclops, you know, a single eye, or like you see on the Great Pyramid, that eye on the top of the pyramid. And like, like you see in the Library of Congress, you'll see this in the Library of Congress, and they'll, they'll have, that, that's Allah, all right? When they talk about the records, and they talk about the history of the Great Seal, that's still on the back of the dollar bill. When they cut it, etc. they go back to ancient Chaldeans, etc. And then they'll say the eye is Allah or the eye of Job. All right. Although they don't teach it in the schools, that's on the records throughout the world. You know, but that's for like Masons, Eastern Star, Jesuits, government rules, skull and bones, they don't show that to the public. But that's what they got. That's why if you notice that all the government heads, when they when you when you see them talking, they'll speak under that eagle on the back of the dollar bill, and nobody talks about that pyramid. But it's right there, ain't it? Right in front of everybody's nose, ain't it? Well, they don't talk about it, do they? Yeah, but it's right there, man. Hide it right over your nose. Do you understand? And those are secrets of God. But the God is word. But like, if you, like for instance, um, if one was to say to, to someone, basically, present most people the argument of the Edomon, they would take it as a point of interest, but not necessarily be really because they might be busy doing something else. You, you know what I mean? Some people take interest and some wouldn't. You know, you have to take interest. But if they told them, if they